This video presents the static remote attestation technique developed in the Aspire project. First of all, what is remote attestation and how it has been implemented in the Aspire project? Let's imagine we have an application. In a general case, there would be a client-side and server-side conference that communicate through the network. Remote attestation aims at detecting tampered applications by asking it to provide evidences of correctness, that is, the attestation. To this purpose, remote attestation adds several components in both the parts. An attestation manager decides when the application will be attested. This component doesn't know how the attestation is performed. It only manages when, that is, the attestation frequencies. It retrieves the necessary information to assemble a request from the Aspire database, but it also logs facts about the request. Therefore, it sends an attestation request to one of the attestators presented to the client side. The attestator computes the evidence with the data collected on the monitor that and sends an attestation response to the server. The dispatcher forwards the response to the proper verifier. The dispatcher also works as load balancer. Therefore, there is not a verifier per application, at least one re for remote attestation technique. The verifier evaluates the response and emits a verdict, which is stored into the database. Of course, to improve performance on the online verification, several pre-computations can be performed offline on the server. Finally, another Aspire component named Reaction Logic reads from the database and decides, according to a policy, when and how to react to compromised applications. Static remote attestation attests the integrity of the application binaries in memory. The parts to monitor are named areas. A random work is performed in the area to attest to compute the prepared data, which are then hashed with an algorithm of choice. Moreover, it is possible to specify how to parse the nones sent in the attestation request and how to store area information. Indeed, information about the areas that, that can be attested by an attestator are stored in the ADS, the attestation data structure. Let's see now how to automatically add static remote attestation on an Aspire use case, which is also protected with several additional protections. First of all, it is needed to specify the attestators to use. This is done with the annotations here. In this case, we have two attestators. The first attestator uses the norm random walk, which uses a multiplicative group to order the bytes in the prepared data. And SHA-256. The second attestator splits the areas to attest in two parts, whose length is a prime, and builds two multiplicative groups to create the prepared data that are then hashed with the break 2 algorithm. By default, an attestation request is sent to each attestator every 10 seconds. The areas to attest are also wrapped with annotations. For instance, this annotation says that both the attestators must monitor this piece of code. The automatic application of the static remote attestation performs two separate tasks. On client, it builds the attestators and creates and leaks the attestation data structures for each attestator. Then it generates and starts the server-side components, that is, the attestation manager, the dispatcher, and initially one verifier and initialize the, and populates the Aspire database. Moreover, it generates the extractor, which pre-computes attestation responses based on the client-side attestation data structure to speed up the verification. On the client, the annotations are parsed to determine the attestators to create. Attestators are assembled, customized, as several attestators are generated from the same source files, compiled, and built. The areas to attest are identified from the annotations, then, during the binary phase, these areas will be transformed. Diablo keeps track of these transformations, generates the attestation data structures, and injects them into the binaries. The attestator then receives the pointer to the ADS. Let's apply now the protections. I first clean, then build the protected application with the ACTC. The source code is being pre-processed and annotations are being parsed. Here is the log that the first attestator is being created. And here is the second one. Here the ADS is being created. Here the server components are being created. The Aspire database, there are two attestators. This is the first one. The extractor, 
these are the areas. This is the same for the second attestator. As you can see, the remote attestation has been deployed successfully. 